Well, joining us now is Kathy Mears, and she's going to talk about her role as superintendent of Catholic schools here Good in the job. Arch Diocese of Boston. Kathy, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. We're thrilled. It's your first visit here. I'm glad to be here. It's I mean, great. Well, we'll have, see, now that you're here, though, we'll just keep having you come back. That's, okay. that's the thing. We know how to find you now, that's and we will true. get you. Hey, tell us what you do as superintendent of schools. Um, whatever anybody tells me to do. <laughs> that's kind of like me. Yeah, it, I, I'm six of nine children, so I'm used to that. Um, no, I work to support the schools, the parents, the teachers, the children, the students, the principals, everybody, the pastors, everyone who's involved in Catholic education. Um, and I also try to connect people that have different skills, talents, and resources so that we can do the most possible for our students. Mm -hmm. I heard you give a presentation recently uh, about uh, how you've really tried to connect yourself uh, with principals and faculties and, and pastors all around the archdiocese. Can you tell us about what you've discovered as you've visited with some of the schools? I would be happy to. Um, I visited with 143 different people in my first 90 days, wow. which was a challenge, but it was a good one. It was great. People want to support the schools. They are very, very big supporters of Catholic education. Mm -hmm. They want to be a part of what we're going to do. They want to bring new life to our schools. Um, our schools do a great job, but you can always get better and everybody wants to be a part of it. I feel like the Archdiocese of Boston is abundantly blessed mm. by God with opportunities to do things that will help further the mission. You know what I get from you, Kathy, and, and we've met for the first time today, mm -hmm. but it, it shines through how energetic you are and how thrilled you are to be doing this job. Why is Catholic education so important and why do you think it's so important? Um, I do enjoy my job. Yeah. I, I have a great job. My husband and I know we're blessed to be here. Um, I think because the possibilities of Catholic education, the idea that we can bring children into true faith communities where they can know about the God who loves them, who created them, where they, we can teach them to know, love, and serve God, as well as reading, writing, and arithmetic. You know, with Catholic school, you get a fourth R. It's a, it's a great deal. Mm -hmm. So um, I do have a lot of enthusiasm for them, and I want to make sure that every child who wants a Catholic education can have a Catholic mm -hmm. education. It's not really that we don't have people who want to be in Catholic schools. It's usually about finances. So how can we find ways to support them so that they can be enrolled in our schools? That's you, the goal. You served at the National Catholic Education Association, and one of their great efforts is uh, what we begin right here in this moment. We're kicking off Catholic Schools Week right here in the living room. Uh, why is it so important to, to have a week-long celebration like this? I don't think people realize what Catholic schools contribute to the larger community. Um, just in Boston, um, the mayor, Catholic school graduate, the mayor before him, a Catholic school graduate, the mayor before him, a Catholic school graduate. Well, um, Catholics who have been taught well in Catholic schools are doing all kinds of leadership things across the country, across the world. We need to keep that pipeline going. We need to know that 40 years from now, we'll have people like you who are well-educated in Catholic schools doing great things for our world. So we need to celebrate that. Um, people really don't understand that. I think that Catholic schools are making contributions to society as well as to the church. So it shows that we went to Catholic education, had yes. Catholic education. Yes, very well behaved. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there are a lot of challenges. You mentioned financial. What are some of the challenges out there that face our Catholic schools? I think finances is, is, the biggest, is uh, probably the biggest, but um, you know, we want to be more open and em embrace more student population groups than we do now. So we have to work with our teachers, help them gather the skills they need to do that. We have wonderful dedicated teachers and they're doing great things, but we can help them by providing more training, more support for them. So we wanna do that because like I said, we wanna open our doors a little wider for more children who don't speak English, for more children who have um, special learning concerns. And so we're gonna to have to support the teachers in that. And I guess our biggest problem is we don't tell our story well. Mm -hmm. um, we had many, many many sisters who worked so hard in our schools for many, many years at very little or no pay. And they were humble people and they didn't mention what they were doing to the world. Um, in some cases, it's almost like they took a vow not to tell people of the great work they were doing. So now it's, I consider it part of my job and my privilege to tell people of the great work happening. We need to tell our story better so that people will know what we're doing. I've been very fortunate as a priest to be in a number of parishes with great Catholic schools. 
here's a question for you. What about the people who don't have children in the schools? What can they do to support Catholic education in their own parish? Pray. Pray. Pray okay. every day. I mean, uh, people have told me they're praying for me, and I consider that one of the greatest gifts. I mean, it's like some days I can almost feel that prayer. So I think that's the number one thing. Two, ask how you can help. You know, there's a child somewhere who needs somebody to listen to them read. There's a child who needs somebody to show up at a basketball game or a football game and say, I'm cheering for you. All of our kids benefit from great mentors, and there are great mentors in our communities who just need to say, how can I help? Um, if you show up at a Catholic school and say, how can I help? I don't care where you are in the country. They'll, they'll find a job for you. <laughs> when you talk about not telling the story, and that's the beauty of Catholic TV is we're telling the story right that's now, exactly which is right. wonderful. Uh, I think a lot of times people don't realize how big the Catholic school, and we're talking about the Archdiocese of Boston, but people from all over the country are watching this and in other countries. Um, this, this, these Catholic schools have done such an unbelievable job, and people don't realize they're everywhere. They, they are everywhere. Um, because of my previous job, I know that our Catholic school enrollment is just under 2 million um, students in this country, and um, I know there's just about 4,900 elementary schools and about 1,200 Catholic high schools in the country. So they are everywhere. They're, they're in almost every diocese in the, in the country. I think there's one diocese that doesn't have a Catholic school. Mm -hmm. But generally, they are everywhere. There's the one near you. And they're, like I said, not only are we serving the community, but we're serving the church. Yesterday, I learned that um, and one of our parish schools, 12 students are going to be baptized on Sunday. So, you know, that's evangelization at work. Another school, because, you know, when you're principal, you have to brag. So the one said, we're going to have 12. So then he told me, he said, we're having 24 at my school. <laughs> it's a competition. Yeah, it's a competition to bring people to Christ. So what a great day, day that is. So we're, we're out there working. We're out there serving. Well, we thank you so much for being with thank us you. today. I'm and, glad to be here. And as we said, this is the first of many stops here at Catholic TV for you, Kathy. Thank you. Very much appreciate it.